Hi everybody, it's been uh, quite a long time since I've last made a video. Um, the quality is going to probably be a lot better. Um, I don't know if I've used this phone since I got it um, on my YouTube channel, um, but I do make TikToks. So, um, But the quality of my camera, I can't do full like quality, like Ultra HD and upload on TikTok because their server doesn't allow it, which I think is stupid. <laughs> Um, but a lot has happened in the last several months. Um, we were all starting to get over the hump of COVID and everybody's starting to get vaccinated and feeling better. And now Ontario is now entering its fourth wave, um, with another new variant. It's the Delta variant. Um, and apparently it's the deadliest one of all of them. So it's kind of got people freaking out and worried that, you know, we're going to get locked down again. Schools are going to get closed again when they reopen in September, which is only in like a matter of a few weeks that the schools reopen. Um, and then all the stores are going to close up again and everything's just going to be crazy. I had to uh, turn on my LED lights. Um, I don't know if you can see the galaxy lights on my ceiling. I think they're very pretty. Um, but I had to turn on my LED lights because my camera wasn't bright enough. So you wouldn't have seen me. Um, so yeah, I guess I'll just get down to how things have been and give you guys an update on, uh, my crazy life and stuff that's been going down lately. Um, I guess I'll start off by the last video I posted wasn't really like a, like vlog or anything like that. It was like a, it was a video that left a lot of people questioning what was going on with me because the caption was memories, I think, or something like that. And it was a video of me driving a car. Um, as pretty much everybody on here knows, I don't have my license and I'm sure you heard, um, the other voice in the video saying that like, Oh, you know, if you get caught. You're going to get, you know, I'll get in trouble, blah, blah, blah. Cause she has her full license, but I don't have like my license at all. Um, and it was just, it was more or less just a joyride type thing. I mean, um, me and her had just come back from going on a late night Tim's run because in Canada, that's something you do. I guess if you're bored, you just hit up a Tim Hortons at like two o'clock in the morning. Um, and we had just come back from Tim Hortons and it was late and we had been talking about how, uh, my birthday that had just passed, I was going to go and try and get my G1, um, which I never ended up doing. Long story short, I didn't see any point in it because, um, me and that person ended up having a severe falling out. We don't really talk to each other now. We don't even really look at each other in passing. We live beside each other, but we don't like talk to each other like at all. Um, just basically on her end, severe mental health issues got in the way of our relationship and I didn't feel safe or comfortable around somebody that was like that. So needless to say, I had to cut ties with her, which was hard at first, but I did get over it and now I'm pretty much over it. Now it doesn't bother me at all. Um, I mean, sometimes it does, but that's only when I like reflect on memories that we had together, then I get upset. And, you know, aside from that, I don't really reflect on it anymore because I'm past that point in my life and I'm trying to move forward with my life for what's better for me and my family. <sighs> Needless to say, um, I'd posted that video. I'm going to stop talking just for one second because I don't know if Mikey's coming up to bed or if it's somebody else. No. Okay. It's not Mikey. So yeah, needless to say, I'd posted that video because I felt it was a very special video for me and I wanted to post it somewhere where I know it would always be, where I could always look back on it and watch it. If I ever felt sad or needed to reflect on a good time, in my life, in my like recent years of life that I've had. And that was one of them. So, um, I'm still vaping. Unfortunately, I haven't quit vaping. Um, but Allie, Allie never ended up going back to school. Um, she ended up doing online for the rest of the year. Um, they're supposed to go back to school September 7th. So she'll be back in school after Labor Day. And hopefully they'll keep the schools open. They've already vowed by it that they're going to try and keep the schools open as long as they can while this fourth variant 
fourth um, wave spreads. But they're hoping now with more and more people getting vaccinated that, um, you know, things will start to calm down a bit. You can probably hear Ali in the background. She's down there on the camera. It's her little monitor down there. That's how I've been keeping an eye on them at nighttime since they had their surgery, which I'll get into that in a few minutes. Um, I'm feeling exhausted right now. I probably look exhausted. I actually feel like shit right now. Um, I guess I'll just jump into that. Um, so I got my first, my first COVID dose Pfizer. I got the Pfizer back at the end of April and I was scheduled to get my second dose. I think in a couple days from now, um, but the hospital here is no longer doing the vaccines. So they're closing their clinic. So they canceled my appointment, but basically you can pretty much walk into any pharmacy now and get either Moderna or Pfizer. So I just happened to be feeling like shit today because I started my period yesterday and I've been in a lot of pain from that today. Really bad cramps, which I'm happy to say this is going to be like my last period, like official period, hopefully which I'll get into that in a minute. I don't want to keep jumping all over the place. Um, so I ended up getting my second dose today because I had a dentist appointment. I was already at the mall and I was already feeling like crap from that plus my period. So I said, what the hell? I'm going to check and see if they can give me a dose today. And sure enough, they did. So I got that done. Um, just give me a sec. I'm going to check my temperature again because I've been checking my temperature every 20 minutes or so just to make sure it's not going up. I'm a little bit stuffy. I think that's allergies though, to be honest. Let's see. Oh, oh, 37.9. Gotta check it again. It keeps changing. Nope. It's 37.9. So I do have a fever now officially. Um, even though I don't feel like it, but I do. Um, I think for most people, when they get fevers from the vaccine, it's like over a hundred, but this is like 37.9 Fahrenheit. So I'm still okay, but I am going to take some Tylenol in a little bit to try and, uh, calm that down so I can go to sleep. Um, so far I've been okay today. I was just feeling a little bit drowsy from the shot. Um, uh, my arm is a little bit sore, but it's not sore, like as bad as the last time. I think it was sore more with the first dose than this one. <laughs> Um, I've just been off and on drowsy all day and just, you know, kind of dizzy, feeling a little bit out of it, almost like I'm having an out of body experience. And I was very clumsy a couple hours after I got my vaccine. So I don't know if maybe that was just brain fog or if that was a part of it, but yeah, I was feeling a little bit dizzy after and whatnot. Um, so Allie knows I'm not feeling well tonight. So she gave me her favorite dinosaur bumpy to sleep with tonight because this is the dinosaur that she sleeps with whenever she's not feeling well or if she's scared or something like that. And she let me sleep with it tonight because she knows I'm not feeling well. She said, here, mommy, you can sleep with Bumpy and he'll make you feel better tonight. So that really warmed my heart. But yeah, so it's only been about six hours, roughly, since I got my um, second dose. So, I mean... I'm doing better than most people because when my sister got her second dose, she was like on her ass by like the third hour, just exhausted, like tired and just felt like shit. And my neighbor a couple doors down, she got her second dose and she was in bed for four days, like vomiting and everything. She felt totally sick. So I'm, I don't know what she's watching. I'm the first one in my house to get the second dose. So everybody's kind of just watching to see how I feel. Cause then they're going to determine if they should get theirs, I guess. I don't know. Um, so yeah, I got the second dose. There is still over, I think they said 1.5 million. I don't know if it's Canadians or Ontarians. I'm not a hundred percent sure. Cause my brain's not very clear right now. Um, but I'm just kind of, I, I can't get over the fact that there is so many, um, people that still haven't gotten vaccinated. I mean, I don't care whatever your belief system is. If you don't think that, you know, um, 
COVID's real or that the vaccine will help you or anything, then that's, that's your opinion. That's fine. But don't go and rub it in people's faces that have made the decision to go and get vaccinated or whatever. Um, cause a lot of people are getting pissed off. Here's what's happening here. So a lot of people are getting pissed off because our hospitals are becoming full again. And it's mostly people coming in that don't believe in the virus, don't believe in the vaccine. They're coming in and they're flooding our emergency rooms and flooding our hospitals and people that are like in there for health reasons like cancer, chemo, whatever that may be, are being told they have to leave because they need the beds to uh, fit these COVID patients. So people are coming in and basically they're using our health system. They're allowing our doctors to treat them and trusting our doctors to treat them when in the end they don't believe in the vaccine or in the virus itself, which I think is just utterly ridiculous, but... I'm not here to talk politics, but I just think it's really stupid that people are being that selfish. <sighs> but you can't change any, everybody's opinion. So, I mean, when people start being out of jobs or lose their privileges to go in malls, go in stores, whatever, people start turning people away, then yeah, that's going to start a huge fight. But yeah, it's, it's scary, <laughs> but it will eventually happen. Anyways, I'm feeling really funky right now. I started feeling a little bit dizzy for a second there. And I'm still very tired. Um, but yeah, needless to say, um, the kids had surgery last, not last, two, two Thursdays ago. They both had their tonsils and adenoids removed, which was fun. Not, um, they only really just started eating solids again a few days ago. Other than that, they were living off of juice and cold drinks, ice cream, freezies. Didn't really want anything. Um, so we had to try and get them to eat and drink, but they just did not want to. Um, but they seem to be doing okay now. We're almost two weeks post-op and they seem to be doing a lot better. So depending on how I feel in the next couple days, if my side effects wear off, then I'm probably going to take them down to my mom's for a last visit before they go back to school. Cause TJ and Allie are both going to be in school now. Um, and the plan for me was I was going to go back to work in September since my EI runs out, but now I'm going to have to hold off on going back to work because, uh, when I mentioned earlier that this is my final period that I'll ever have, I might have one more, but this, I think this will be the last one. Um, I have a surgery date for the end of September to have a complete hysterectomy and have everything but my ovaries removed. <sighs> kind of nervous about that. Um, not going to lie. Um, six weeks recovery time, at least they're saying at least six weeks recovery time, um, which is going to be interesting because I'm still going to have to try and muster up the strength to get the kids ready in the morning, walk them to school, come home, relax for the day. And then same thing at the end of the day, go pick them up from school. So hopefully it won't be a crazy recovery for me. I'm sorry. I'm really tired. Um, other than that, though, not really much updates, life updates. It's pretty much still been the same, just other than the fact I'm getting surgery. I'm vaccinated fully. Allie turned her TV up louder after I told her not to, and she does it all the time. Always does it at nighttime. She turns her TV up, like, super loud. Like, granted, the camera's right beside the TV, but that's, like, really loud. But yeah, anyways, that's pretty much it nothing much really to report other than that. So, um, hopefully you guys watch through this whole video. You can see how shitty I feel. I'm actually looking shittier now than I was when I started this video 14 minutes ago. So yeah, I'm going to go take some towel and I'm going to go lay down. Hopefully I feel better tomorrow. We'll see how I do. Um, but I got to go get this fever down before it does get higher. So yeah, but thanks for watching guys and stay tuned for future videos. <laughs> Bye.